Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to be doing a deck profile of my dragon deck. So, um, it's actually kind of a hybrid of dragons and dragunity monsters. So, f a lot of these are from Dragunity Legion, but there's quite a few old ones in there as well. Okay, so for the first card, it's Stamping Destruction. Uh, by the way, I am using... Uh, blue, I think these are Ultra Pro, um, sleeves, I got these off my friend, they're pretty old, and, um, to see them, I, they're not the best quality, but I like them, they're nice enough, um, these are from the Ancient Fairy Dragon Tin, which I will have a video up of in a while, I just got it today, I uh, made a few mistakes, um, so I have to edit that, um, I recorded it, like, outside, when I was in my town, so, yeah, just need to edit some stuff. So yeah, the first card is Stamping Destruction, um, spell card. Uh, activate only if you control w a face of dragon monster. Select one spell or trap on the field, destroy it, and inflict 800 damage. Sorry, that's 500 damage um, to its controller. Next up, um, Dragon's Rage. Sorry about the quality, um, the lighting isn't too good. I'm just trying to get this to focus. Trap card, um, during a battle, f uh, during a battle between an attacking dragon type monster, you control a defense position monster whose defense is lower than the attack of the attacking monster. Inflict the, uh, the difference as battle damage to your opponent. I'm just going to put that aside because I have a really cool little combo I want to show you in a while. Um, Dragon's Gunfire, Spell, activate only if you control a face-up dragon-type monster, activate, sorry, activate, uh, one of these effects, inflict 800 damage to your opponent, select one monster with, um, 800 attack or less and destroy it. Personally, I'm going with the top one, like the art on that card. So, um... Next up, we have uh, Drag Unity Primus Pillus to a uh, good attack. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother reading the effects for all of these. Um, Mask of the Weakness, good trap card. Micro Ray. Now, here's where Dragon's Rage come in. Um, so, with Dragon's Rage. Um, if you have a defense position, mon if you're attacking a defense position monster versus a dragon monster, and considering the fact that my whole deck is dragons, bar one card, one or two cards, um, micro ray has a good effect, meaning that the defense of uh, one face up monster on the field becomes zero until the end of this turn. So, say if I have a blue eyes or whatever, or a black winged dragon. And I'm attacking something that would have good defense usually. I can make that go. Monster Reborn, just in case I want to summon anything that was in my graveyard. Uh, a Light and Darkness Dragon, limited edition. It's an okay card. Nice addition. Um, Drag Unity Javelin. Uh, Drag Unity Ducks. Um, this is actually the Hidden Arsenal free version. Uh, just, I like having the hollow version, per per like, personally. Um, Dark Hole. This deck, um, mainly relies on destroying monsters and, um, dragons. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Dark Hole. Um, dra Drag Unity, um, uh, Militum. Reinforcements. Has a seahorse for when I went to summon something like blue eyes. I, I, I don't get why people don't use blue eyes anymore. It's still a high attack card. Uh, drag, dragon ravine. Um, basically, its effect is that once per turn during your main phase, you can, di uh, you can discard one card to activate one of these effects. Add one. Um, it's a field spell, by the way. Um, Add one level four or lower drag unity monster from your deck to your hand, which would be pretty handy. 
or send one dragon type monster from your deck to your grave. That's where Monster Reborn comes in. So yeah, there's there's exactly forty cards in this deck. Um next is a limited edition card, which is uh Gandora the Dragon of Destruction. It's a pretty handy card. Um yeah. Sorry about not reading all these effects, it's just the video will be really long. And like by now it's already five minutes, so you can look up these cards on uh, yugioh.wikia.com. Uh, uh, dra arm Dragon Level 3, just uh, just so I can quickly summon Arm Dragon Level 4. Uh, he, uh, Hyozanryu. Hyozanryu. This, this is a nice little defensive card. Um, Mirror Force. I don't get why these go for so much money, because I mean, like, they're in every deck. Well, they've been in most decks of the last few years, but still... It's a great card and it's very sought after. Um, uh, Dragon Mastery, Arm Dragon Level Five, um, Dragunity Armor Levaten or Levaten. It's a nice little card. Um, Retrecously handy. The Spellbinding Circle, classic but a really good one at that. Um, the dragon uh, dwelling in the cave for when I want to defend 2,000 defense and I don't have to tribute for it so you know it's good spear dragon 1,900 attack and basically during a battle between this attacking card and a defense position monster whose defense is lower than the attack of this card uh, inflict the Difference is battle damage to your opponent. If this card attacks, it is changed to defense position at the end of the uh, damage step. So yeah, that could come in handy at times. New card I just got today. Um, silver wing. Equip, uh, only to a level eight or higher dragon type synchro monster. Up, to, uh, up to twice per turn. If um, if it would be. Uh, destroyed by battle, it is. Sorry, try and get the camera to focus. It is um not destroyed. If it will would be um destroyed by a card effect, you can destroy this card instead. That's a handy little piece of um card, and I do have level eight. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Swords of Revealing Light. Loads of people use this on me, and you know it's still a good card today. I'm pretty sure I have the Hollow version of that somewhere. Um, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon, and that's where card destruction comes in because if for every um, right, I have a free part combo with a Red Red Eyes Black Dragon, Red Eyes Bee Chick, which is um there, and I'm just gonna go. Uh, red eyes black dragon and uh, red eyes darkness dragon. So basically, what I do is to s I use this to special summon. I um I send this from the field to uh, the graveyard to summon one red eyes black dragon from my hand. That could also be used with um swords revealing light. So when I get uh, red eyes black dragon. I use card destruction, meaning that, oh, sorry, before I do that, I am summon Red Eyes Darkness Dragon, and my aim would be to get as many dragon type monsters in my graveyard as possible, um, because for every dragon type monster in your graveyard, Red Eyes Darkness Dragon's attack, which is 2400, is increased by 300. So roughly, I would have at least five, between five and ten. Uh, cards in the first ten minutes of the duel, meaning I have some serious points. Force Raider, this is this is a really interesting card. I love this. I I just really wanted this in my deck. Um, yeah, I know you guys are gonna say, "Ooh, it's not a dragon," but you know it's a high attack monster that I contribute for other monsters. Um, and it's only four stars, so you know I can summon easily. This is from one of the older tins. I think this is the two thousand and three or two thousand and four tin. Oh, actually, it's maybe it's 2005, but I don't know. I got it off my friend, 
And yeah, it's limited edition. It's a secret rare. Blue Eyes White Dragon. You can't have a dragon deck without this. Kaiser the Seahorse comes in to this, so I can summon. I can tribute Kaiser the Seahorse, which um, equals two, uh, tributing two monsters, meaning I can summon that. Um, Drag Unity Aklas. Use this as a tuner mainly. All my kind of low level drag unities are just tuners. Uh, ground collapse basically means um, I can use two monster cards, uh, zones on the field, and no one can summon in them. So, as far as I know, that would apply to your opponent if it didn't, it would be a terrible card. Use this as a tuner. Chapel, drawing cards. Gianketto. I think I have three of these in my other deck. My friend has um, three of these in his Exiled Master of the Guard deck, which is a really defensive deck. It increases your life points by a thousand. I hope it isn't on the ban list. I haven't looked at that for a bit, but as far as I know, it isn't. And this, because a lot of people run E Heroes that I know, so um, neither player confusion is someone. So next, I got Blackwing Dragon, Shooting Star Dragon, Secret Rare. Stardust Dragon and Ancient Fairy Dragon, Secret Rare. These are just my uh, synchros. They're all ones that you know you don't, you need a ch uh, bar uh, shooting Star Dragon. You only need a tuner and a non tuner monster, so they're kind of for me to quick summon because I'm not too fussed with uh, synchros. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. This has been Moki Moki 100. I hope to um, a deck profile some other decks, my uh, Trap Hole deck, which. Um, focuses on destroying a lot of monsters and it's very defensive and um another deck which i'm working on so yeah thanks for watching bye